Hi everyone and welcome to the next instalment in the Beltane series. A series of videos put together by myself, Mish of Twisted by Mish and Leslie, the metaphysical crone from Energy. So you've got me alone today and I'm going to talk to you and teach you how to make a mini maypole for your altar. Now to me, maypole this season of Beltane represents the, uni the unity of the God to his Goddess. So for me, the sun to the earth. Okay, and then all the, all the ribbons coming down and connecting there. Can you? No, it's about that spiral of life in this fertile time. So we've, you can use colours on your coloured ribbons on your maypole. Choose your colours to match either intentions if you want to use it to set intentions or just for the correspondence and the intention of the season. So I've got, I always have green on mine, green to represent the growth and fertility, white to cleanse and clear and gold for abundance and joy. Okay, oh and of course red for passion because What's Beltane season without passion? Okay, so I am going to now turn my camera around and show you how you can create one of these for your Beltane altar. Okay, so we've got all our things together. We've got um, a pot. You could use a jar or a mug or anything really, just something sturdy for your base. A stick, you might like to use a piece of apple wood, um, that represents fertility, so sort of goes with the intentions of the season. We have a ball of air dry clay, you could use Play-Doh or Plasticine, or maybe if you've got kids at home, you could whip up a batch of Play-Doh or salt dough and let them have a play while you're making your maypole. Uh, you will need some ribbons and a thumbtack. So with the ribbon, you want you can have as many colours as you like, as many strands. Um, today I've got five here. Uh, you can use the colours to represent certain intentions. But your lengths of ribbon need to be three times the length of your stick. Okay, so that will give you a little bit extra if you decide you want to weave it. Um, and it will just drape nicely over the over the pot. Okay. Okay, so the first thing we're going to need to do is just grab your pot and your dough. And I usually what I do is I'll make a sausage out of it. Okay. bit of a sausage okay and we'll wrap that around the base of the stick okay squeeze it in a bit okay I just find that a bit easier than trying to poke a hole through the clay's a bit firm so and you pop that into the bottom of your pot and just give it a good push so make sure your sticks down the bottom and then just give it a good push all the way around and that will make a nice stable base okay okay so the next thing we want to do is get our ribbon lengths and put them all together on top of each other. Okay. And then find the halfway point. There. And find the halfway point. And them. Okay. Now I keep them hold hold them all together to put then the thumbtack through okay you push your thumbtack through might take some work 
Okay, and then you just put that into the top of your stick. And then we'll just turn them, give them a little tweak and a spin. So they all go in even directions, separate from themselves. Here. Fingers don't want to work. There we go. And then they'll drape nicely. So you really need like at least four ribbons for this. You could definitely use more if you wanted to. And that way. And then you just let them drape. Now if you want to, my ribbons are probably slightly long here, but my intentions to weave them afterwards so there you go one one maple now if you'd like to you could pop on a little topper as well and i'm going to do a little video um actually a live video in my facebook group so that's twisted by mish familiar um and I'm going to do a little live to show you how I make one of these. Um, and you can join me too if you'd like. So just, just let me know in the group. I'll put a post up there um, to say who's coming and what you need. Okay. And we can make that, that one together. But you can do that. You just would put, it's got a little spot here. You would just put your thumbtack through that hole before you attach it so then we finally once we've done that and there you go one completed maypole okay and there we go one completed maypole so you can use that now it's ready to sit on your altar to decorate for Beltane season or you could you could weave it down the pole setting intentions um, in ritual yeah, whatever you like but I think they're quite sweet okay so don't forget I'm going to have that that live in my Facebook group where you can make the Sun um, topper for for your maypole um, and that will only be in my Facebook group. So it's Twisted by Mish Familiar, which is like family, but spelled with I-E. It's actually German for family. So there you go. Um, follow Leslie's page as well. Leslie's already put up some videos. So if you want to go and have a look at those, um, you know, she's got some, some more coming as well. She's got some crystal gridding, but there's already some beautiful aromatherapy aromatherapy blend so just a few things to support you through this season of growth okay so thanks again for joining me and I would absolutely love to see your pictures of your maypoles if you'd love to share them with me that would be awesome and yeah bountiful blessings for a wonderful Beltane season thank you